Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's see if we can do the same kind of problem with two dyes. Here, the attempt is, by using two dyes, what is to find the probability of getting a double six in 24 tries. What's the probability? Is it better than 50-50? Well, let's find out. Again, the equation is the same, but the probability is one minus the probability of not getting a double six to the n power, and the n, of course, is the number of tries. So plug in the numbers, we get the probability is equal to one minus the probability of not getting a double six, notice there's 36 numbers in the sample space, 36 combinations of the two dies of what you can get, and all but one is other than double six. Double six is only one of those 36, that means 35 out of 36 is not getting a double six, and that has to be raised to the 24th power because it's the number of tries. Now, of course, without a calculator, it would take you a very long time to work this out, but with a calculator, it shouldn't take too long. 35 divided by 36, and then we take that number and we raise it to the 24 power, and then we subtract that from 1. So we get the probability is equal to 1 minus 0 0.5086. And so therefore, when we subtract that from 1, we get the probability is equal to 0 point, let's just round it off, to 4, 9, well, 1, 4, that's good enough. There we go. And there it is. It's less than 50%. So if you want to put a wager on this attempt to try and make some money, it's not going to work because on average, you will lose most of the time compared to winning most of the time. Not a much of a difference, but over a lot of tries, you're going to end up losing money if you're going to bet that you can draw, throw double sixes on average in 24 tries. You probably need 25 or 26 tries to get a probability greater than 0.5. All right, that's how we do that.